Good morning, and welcome to the channel. If you haven't yet, it would be fantastic if you could subscribe. I decided that I should make an actual devlog of the game I've been working on and its progress, Glow Home. You can play it right now in the state it's in with a link in the description. I'd appreciate it if you took the time to check out the progress. You can see my hair absolutely loves having a headset on. Sad mohawk noises. Let's get into it. Stupid low resolution. Crazy low frame rate. Is it going to work? I'm sure it looks terrible. These stars are all procedural. So are the asteroids. Enemies' colors are random. That's the alien chatter. I love it. Let's go to the tutorial real quick. I had so much fun making that alien language. The tutorial is now the place for you. Press backspace and enter the menu to play the real game. Like it says in the settings, grab asteroids with spacebar. Let's go to the store. This is the new store. Upgrades are unlocked with level now. All the upgrades are split into categories. You get this nice close-up view of everything going on without anything trying to kill you. Explosion every now and then. And if they land in the right spot, you can see the enemies without them coming to kill you. Super cute with their different sized eyeballs and little antenna. Anyway. Use spacebar to ground a let go of asteroids that have enough energy to glow. Bring those asteroids back to the home star by springing them into it. Eventually I'm going to replace that controls level with nothing but the alien language and translations for a tutorial. Also give some missions and stuff with it. But uh, I just started on the translation system the other night. You can swing asteroids into enemies and the home star. It's a little bit harder with those smaller ones. I've been thinking about making the different size asteroids be worth more and less, respectively. Oh, that wasn't close enough. Which asteroid you grab changes to the color of the ship, so you know that that's the asteroid you're interacting with before, you know, you start swinging it around. I know you guys are probably super busy, so I'm gonna just try to level up to level 2 real quick and show you the three different weapons. That's the new level up animation right there. Does a little bit of slow-mo and some particles. Alright, let's get some new upgrades like the nice alien man told us. We can now get missiles. Uh, shout out to Ryan Laley. He helped me both on his Question Time live stream and on his Discord trying to figure out how to make the projectile movement components uh, homing work. And uh, I finally got it working with his help, and so now those missiles will track the enemies. And I made it work to where if an enemy is destroyed while it's on the way, it'll get a new target and go toward that one. I think the missiles have a lifetime that lets them try a good three, four times before they uh, self-destruct. But they hit fairly often, I think. I think any more often and they'd be pretty overpowered because they do track the enemies. I'm gonna hurry up here and get to level two. So I can show you the new plasma projectile. Every time you take an asteroid to the home star, it increases your gold per second and increases the size of the star. The enemies can outrun you, but they have avoidance for each other. So if you maneuver around them correctly, you can keep from getting hit. But it takes a little bit of practice. Trust access to access the store. No upgrades are available. 
it will only give us that message when we hit level 1 and level 2 because that's when you unlock the new weapons. And I didn't want to burn you guys out on the press backspace. But I didn't want anybody to forget how to go get their weapons either. So now we got the plasma projectile. It looks completely different. And I want you to be able to hear that new noise. And now ricochets also. Uh, the missiles have noise too when they launch. I don't think I mentioned that yet. And I made all those noises with my face and distortion. I felt absolutely ridiculous doing it, but they turned out pretty great. I'm happy I did. But yeah, I don't want to keep you guys too long. I'm sure you have lots going on today. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I hope that the frame rate was at least watchable this time. I'm going to end it here and check it out. I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribed. If you haven't, play the game for yourself. Click the link in the description at itch.io. And uh, see that the frame rate is actually pretty amazing. Sorry for the frame rate issues. I hope that you subscribe. Thank you for your time. And uh, as always, I appreciate your feedback.